Hello everyone, uh, how are you? I hope you are doing well. And in the previous videos, we saw how we can configure our system's GPU for running our CNN models. And in this video, we'll run our first model on our system's GPU. So let's get started with it. So you need to go to your spider. And uh, you remember this program of classifying the MNIST dataset which we discussed when we are uh, running this on a CPU. So now we'll run this on GPU as simple as that. We'll first import all the libraries by running this button for running this particular cell. And it's importing all those Keras and your data set from Keras, the models from Keras, matplotlib and all. So it says that uh, it's using a uh, Theano backend and we are using GPU device which it shows uh, in my case is Quadro K4200 CNM is disabled and uh, now we'll run all the model parameters the batch size the number of classes and your dimensions and then we'll load the data set that is MNIST data set uh, and then we'll reshape it and this all we we'll discuss earlier let's run this first okay so it may take some time okay so now we'll prepare our model the cnn model which will consist of two convolution and max pooling and then a flatten and a dense and then uh, then we'll compile it using an optimizer which in our case is eta delta first let's run this and it should so okay so it may take some time and what happens is that uh, in some case when you are like first for the first time you are running this you may get something like this uh, yeah when you run this you may get debug nvcc std out mode you and all this will come continuously for maybe few few minutes also but you need not worry about it this just means that your model is trying to access the system's gpu so if it's coming very long you can stop it like i did by clicking this command and then you can run this again and uh, you see second time I ran it and within after a few times it just got compiled and in this case when I have already run on GPU for quite a time so you won't get this type of message it will directly compile your model so once we have compiled it uh, we are going to train our network and for training we'll use a training data a training level the batch size and all this and for validation you can use the data set which is already given that x test y test or you can keep this aside for testing and you can validate simply by splitting a 20 percent of training data as validation data so let me go with the first one and let me run it so uh, if you remember when we were running this architecture on a cpu it was taking around uh, 900 to 1000 seconds and the same thing when we are running it on GPU, you can see how significantly the time required for running each epoch has reduced. It's around some 40 seconds maybe. Uh, let, let, let this loop or epoch complete, then we can check or we can see what it is. And 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ta-da! That is 39 seconds. So you can imagine how much speed up we are getting from 900 seconds to 39 seconds. That's a huge improvement in the time required for training your model. So if all the researchers or everybody they are using GPU for training this because of the same reason as the training times get reduced very significantly. So it's advisable to use your system's GPU for training this. So for each epoch it will take around 39 to 40 seconds. And so that's it and yeah one more thing i need to tell you okay let me stop this first so this will go for around 12 epoch and then your model will be trained then you can test it like we did in the case of cpu but my aim here is just to show you the speed improvement so i'll stop it with this command and you see initially what was here using gpu device quadro k4200 and this cnmem is disabled and it took around 39 seconds. Now this CNM MEM has also a small role to play 
if we change this uh, if we enable it we'll further get speed improvement so for doing that you need to go to your .cyanorc file which is in your home directory so just go to your home directory which in my case is c it's users it's ripple and it's .cyanorc file so you just click on this and you need to add this this column you just square bracket put as lib and cnmem and you need to just make it anything uh, in you can make it 0 0.2 0 0.5 0 0.6 0. Point, let me make it 0 0.7 and just save it okay so now now since our you can see here that's the case yeah now cnmm is 0 0.7 which means 70 percent now i'll show you how we can get some more speed improvement i open a new console here and i'll show you i'll show you previously what i have done here so you see previously uh, this i use 0 0.7 it shows cnmem is enabled with 70 percent of memory and in this case i got a speed of what 27 seconds from each epoch which was with cnms 0 which is disabled the speed was around or oh sorry the time was around 39 seconds so further speed improvement we will show you live actually just let me run this just click here and so uh, you saw that uh, when i made cnmems 0.7 and i run this you get as gpu device 0 cnmem is enabled with initial size of 70 percent we can run it and check it so let me run here we run this and okay okay so let me run the model and it will take some time to compile the model so we can wait okay it's done and now we'll just start the training and we'll see okay so you saw that it's around 29 seconds so we can wait for one epoch and see by ourselves and you can check this at your systems just uh, you just change it to some value yeah but one question that you may be asking why to choose 0 0.7 or something so i tried that myself by changing this value of 0 0.7 to 1 or 0 0.2 0 0.5 i'm not sure okay so you just see that it took only around 28 seconds whereas it was taking around some 39 40 seconds here so we have uh, still some 10 seconds improvement and this one i showed you was for 70 percent that's taking around 27 to 28 seconds and the second one is when i was okay second one is cnm disabled and this one okay this one i use with around uh, 0 0.9 which is 90 percent and in this also i didn't got any improvement it was just 27 seconds and this case i use cnm as 20 percent and in this case also i just get 27 seconds so what i could figure out that uh, we just need to enable it from zero to any value and it will provide you a little improvement over your normal normal speed on which you are running okay and uh, i tried with actually one also but in that case i was getting error some memory out of error so We'll just skip it to around 0 0.7, 0 0.8 or something and that's all. You can explore by yourself different values of this and check. So that would be all for this video and uh, this was just to run your first model and GPU and see how much improvement you are getting. For the next videos, we'll get more deeper into the model and how we can use or what to say, how can use your own input data to uh, train this model, to feed this network and how we can what to say view and visualize different layers here so that would be all good luck for